Hi everybody, it's the Ruth Russell JB. I'm just getting ready to do the live painting. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes and um, get started. So uh, right now it's got a little dark, but um, I need some lighting. I'll be right back, give me one sec. I'll be right back. I just need to um, readjust the lighting. Lighting is dark. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, you already see me pass through. Um, today, I am, as you can see, I have my canvas here. I have to do it this way. I have my canvas here, and um, overall, the purpose of this live painting series is that I'm celebrating 10 years worth of art making. So, first of all, I want to give him the glory, to God be the glory, because if it wasn't for him, I would not be in this position of celebrating 10 years and him giving me the vision to do so. So, this happened um, around the time I was celebrating, worshiping in church, and um, as I was worshiping, I heard, um, I got and put in my spirit this vision. This vision was just a vision. And um, you could say it was like my really first vision because I never saw anything like it. Um, so I want to be able to re replicate that vision in different ways. And doing so will show the beauty of the arts. Um, this is an ongoing process. Ten years later, I'm still working on mastering my craft. I understand that... Um, Overall, it's a process. You don't become a master overnight, even 10 years' time. And I've read as well, because I'm a reader, I read as well, it takes, I believe, was it 42,000 hours? I don't remember the exact amount of time for you to become a master of something, to, to you to be do very well in something. So here I go. Uh, thank you again so much for joining in, and um, I'm going to start. And I'll say whatever I need to say again once you guys start joining in. Now, I'm doing a process called underpainting. And underpainting is basically when you give the canvas a color um, that... Cause in general, life doesn't have pure whites. Not even the snow. There's snow white in that. Well, actually, snow is pretty white. But, you know, everything is composed of colors. So, um, with this, I'm using red. Nothing in particular. It's just a color I chose. And I'm going to start the process. So, here we go. Okay, I want to first pray. Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord, so much for leading the way today as I come with this painting and bring the knowledge um, in regards to this painting in order to create a beautiful work. And just know that you are with me always. Thank you for the vision that you have pointed me 10 years ago and ongoing. And as I continue to seek you in everything that I do, I ask you for guidance. I pray for those who are coming to see me paint live. See this as a way of worship in general. And overall, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the guidance that you're going to give me right now and help me just enjoy the process. Well, I am going to enjoy the process. Jesus name I pray, amen. Okay, so here I go. All right, so this is a sponge brush. I'm just going to dry it off a little bit because it's kind of wet. So I'm just going to dry it off. And, you know, 
then I could do a little bit more. If I want to expedite the drying, I I use a paper towel and just dry the process. Um, and just dry the process. Okay, so here I go. All right, so for much fun. Okay, so I remember it being horizontal division. Okay. Just cleaning up and doing what I need to do. Yeah, so um, feel free to ask me any questions as we're live. I am very happy to. Um, share any practices I do, um, my process, what is my process. My process is pretty much just creating divine things, fun things, and lots of reading. Bible and lots of other books. So, um, yeah. second. Okay. Okay, so um, my process right now is just all I'm seeing is colors. So colors coming out the darkness into the light, basically. Um, that's what I'm seeing at the moment. So. Um, What is going on? You guys don't know I got a video today? I gotta end this.